Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles, and today I want to talk to you about the one thing that screen time parental controls missed when I got my son a new iPhone. So I have a whole series of videos talking about how to set up screen time. I use it to great effect across all my child's devices. I have three kids, they use various iPads, iPod touch devices, and now my oldest son, he just turned 13, and so we got him an iPhone 13, felt apropos, which I have to say, that green color is very nice but I wanted to make sure all those screen time settings carried over. He's able to message people and use lots of different apps, but when it comes to Safari content and searching, we lock that down. So he can only go to specific websites, websites for school, websites for research like Britannica.com, which, you know, there might be some things that come up there that you might not want your child to see as a parent, but we wanted to make sure that he couldn't just search the open web. So he can't search Google.com, he can't use a search engine in the Safari browser, but what he actually brought to my attention was when you search in Spotlight on iPhone or iPad, and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment, it will actually pull in images from the web, even from Google Image Search, even if you don't have Google.com and search enabled in the screen time settings. And there are ways to turn this off and get around it. Hopefully Apple can actually address this in a software update coming soon. But here's what it looks like. If you go on your iPhone or your iPad, when you pull down on the screen, you get this search bar at the top. And you can actually search for things like photos of dogs and when you search for that if you scroll down it might be in a different order on your device it will actually pull in images from the web so my son actually alerted me to this because he searched for something in spotlight and saw images pop up and he even has safari blocked where he can only go to very specific websites some websites for school things like the smithsonian so we can do some research britannica and this is still pulling from Google Images, even though he can't even go to google.com or do an image search in Safari on his device. But these web images will still come up. And you can search for a variety of things and will pull up lots of photos. You can even tap one, make it larger. And these are not images on his phone. These are being pulled from the web, even though he can't do it in Safari. So I had to see how can we fix this where he doesn't get pulled a bunch of images. I mean, you can search for a variety of things. I don't think you would see something a very lewd or nudity or anything like that, but you can get, you know, kind of inappropriate depending on what you search for. So you have two options. One is kind of the nuclear option. I always think about when I say nuclear because sometimes I say nuclear and then people make fun of me. But anyway, the nuclear option, and there is an ability to do this in the screen time settings. If you go to the settings app and you go to the screen time settings for your child. So I'm gonna go down and I have my family members here, my two sons, I can adjust their screen time settings from my device. And I'm gonna scroll down to content and privacy restrictions. And then here I'm going to go to content restrictions. And you'll see I have web content to allowed websites only and web search content is also not allowed but those images were still coming up in the spotlight search. So the nuclear option here in the content and privacy restriction is to go to allowed apps and Siri and dictation. If you disable this, then they won't be able to use that spotlight feature on their device at all. But that is a feature that I would like them to use. I mean, they actually use Siri a lot for reminders. You would not be able to even do Siri commands using the button on the side. So if I turn off Siri and dictation, he loses a lot of functionality on his device. And so I didn't want to do that. So the second option is this, and this is not ideal because these settings can be changed without the screen time passcode. It's a little complicated and I didn't show my son how to do it. So hopefully he doesn't just, I mean, he's a smart guy. He might figure it out if he wants to, but there are other settings you can change so those images don't come up in spotlight. So again, right now you can see if I search for photos of dogs, not only will there be photos from apps, these are photos, maybe my own photos or photos from apps that I have downloaded on my phone, those appear but the web images right here, we can actually get rid of those coming up in the spotlight search. You gotta change three toggles and I'm gonna show you them now. Go to the settings app on your phone or your child's device, and you can't adjust this setting remotely like other screen time settings. You have to do this on their specific device. But you're gonna go down and you're gonna go to Siri and search right here. Here in Siri and search, you're gonna turn off three different toggles. The content from Apple, show in spotlight, I'm gonna turn that off and then suggestions from Apple, where it says show an app library and spotlight, I'm gonna turn that off as well. Yes, they are gonna lose some suggestions from Apple, but again, this is kind of, we want to eliminate the web image search by all means necessary. So you turn off those toggles and then you're gonna go all the way down to Safari. And here in Safari, the show content in search, I'm going to turn that off. Now, once I turn those off, I'm gonna go back out of settings 
And now let's try another spotlight search and see if we get those images. I'm gonna pull this down and search for photos of birds. And now you'll see it's still pulling up photos from apps. So that may include photos that my son has in his photo library or in other apps that he has downloaded. Again, he can only download apps that we approve. But you'll see what it doesn't have are the web image results. So this will not pull images from the internet that he doesn't already have on his device. And so those three toggles will stop those images from coming up in Spotlight. It's not ideal. I wish that there was a little more granular control in what appears in Spotlight in the screen time settings. Maybe iOS 16 will give us some of that, but there is a way to eliminate it. And again, those toggles are pretty confusing. Again, he could just go in there and turn them on. I didn't show him that specifically, but there's a trust level there. Obviously, if he really wanted to figure out, he could go in there and turn all those toggles on. But for right now, at least if he searches for something, he doesn't have to think about other images coming up that he's not aware of. So again, Apple, if you're listening, I hope you add that setting to the screen time settings where it doesn't pull web images in the spotlight search, but there is a way to kind of get around it for right now. And you always have the new clear option to just turn off Siri and search entirely if that's important for you and your family. If you learned something today, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got lots of other tips and tricks for Apple devices, lots of how-to podcast content and things like that. And of course, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video. You can also follow me on Twitter, ask me questions there. I post some iPhone tip videos on there as well. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.